we have some bad news. We have some bad news about Zach's 1997 Integra, guys. You're gonna wanna hear this. You're gonna wanna hear this. What is up, YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous freaking day. We have my kids' 1997 Acura Integra sitting right here in front of you all. And it looks beautiful with the pearl white on uh, pearl white wrap and the carbon fiber hood and all that fun stuff. If you guys are new to the channel and this is the first time you've ever seen me in front of your screen, well, I'm Andy from DL Performing the Racing, and this is my kids, obviously 1997 Integra, and he he is in boot camp, Marine Corps boot camp, and I've got some really good news for everybody that's been watching these these videos that are out and this channel, Zach is officially a United States Marine, guys. He has gone through the crucible. I literally just got a phone call from him and I talked to him for a little bit and stuff like that. And uh, he does not know about the car as of yet. Uh, they got flip phones down there. Motorcycle. They got flip phones down there to call home. Uh, no internet access whatsoever, thank God. But he does not know about the car. But we do have a little bit of bad news about the car, obviously, as you can tell, um, that we got to talk about here later in the video. But like I going back, you know, to the people that don't know what the hell's going on. My kid went to Marine Corps boot camp. He has passed the crucible. He is now a Marine. And while he was away, we were building his car and we were selling t-shirts like this second phase one right here. There's three phases of t-shirts that we've been selling. This is the second one. We got, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. We got that. We got the American flag on the side arm there. And we also have the emblem on the back of the neck. Uh, distinguishing phase one two and three of the t-shirts first link in the description below guys if you're still interested in t-shirts they are limited we are only selling these t-shirts until about october 8th 9th or 10th about probably october 10th we are going to cut sales we will not be selling these t-shirts anymore but the profits of these t-shirts are going towards zach's build and there's still a few things that I would like to get for him for this car that either he or I can uh, put on the car, which is what we're going to be talking about. But we have a full turbo kit for it. We wrapped the car already. We have a fully forged engine for it that needs to be installed. Powder coated parts, top mount turbo system, just all kinds of things. We still we have ceramic coated parts that we still need to go pick up at the ceramic coater that are done, like his header and his uh, hot side turbo housing, that's all done, we need to go pick it up. But he's doing great, guys. I just I wanna let all of you out there know that he's doing great. He is very happy that he is now a Marine and he got his Eagle Globe and Anchor. He achieved it, guys, he freaking did it. He did it, he freaking did it. He is a US Marine, official US freaking Marine. He is no longer a recruit, which is just, I'm so happy for him. Like, I'm so happy for him, guys. Like, I'm, I know everybody watching this video right now is, is happy for him as well. I know you guys have been looking forward to this moment. Well, I'm telling you, it's he's pretty much done. He has two more weeks. We go to graduation, and that's it. Like, he's home for 10 days, and that's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to talk about, guys. So this beautiful car, you guys have seen all the videos that we've done on this beautiful car. You know, from the tires, breaking, you know, painting the calipers, you know, everybody hating on this freaking awesome hood that I fixed and now everybody seems to love. Um, there's a few other things I want to do. I want to paint uh, the windshield wipers. I'm not going to make a video about that, obviously. Um, the, you know, obviously the full wrap and uh, and stuff like that. Still need to get the windows tinted, which we'll be making a video hopefully this week about the window tinting getting done, um, so hopefully. And, and obviously painting everything and, and just making the car look new again, per se. And uh, just what he wanted. This is what Zach wanted. He wanted this car to look basically like this with a build engine and with a turbo system. And I'm out of the sun. And, you know, here we are. You know, here we are at this stage to get it done. Um, but we, we have an issue. The issue is time. The issue is time because I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a whole bunch of shit over here that needs to get done or worked on or progressed on or whatever the case may be and it's it's all over there um and there's an empty lift here so all of that stuff eventually needs to one at a time come over here which leaves me very little time for that car 
as of right now, and considering the fact that, you know, graduation's really close, and I've got other things I gotta take care of, you know, not only work, but family and arrangements and stuff like that, I don't have a lot of time to be working on the Integra anymore, unfortunately, and that's kind of sad, but I have some very good news for you guys. I have some very, very good news, and I think you guys are gonna freaking, I think you guys are gonna freaking enjoy it, to be honest, but first, um, you know, I don't know if you guys noticed how dim this shop is with these stupid ass lights and this is not an advertisement yet. I mean, I'm going to be making a video about it, but I want to show you guys something. I got these hyper light lights here and I want to, listen, I got a, I was playing around with it the other day and I plugged that sucker in and I was like, holy shit, these things are bright, but here's the light. I'm gonna hang, I got six of these things, guys, and I'm gonna hang them up here. So my future videos in this shop are gonna be a lot freaking better because I have this freaking amazing light. But let me, um, I, just, I have to show you this. I, I was playing around with it the other day and I was like, oh my God, this is freaking um, just, just an amazing light. Uh, let's plug it in here. Oh, come on, plug it in, there we go. So you can see like, it's lit up right now. <laughs> Look at this, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this thing out and over here, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> look at that. I don't know, I'm hoping you guys can see it. I'm hoping you guys can see it. But it is a lot of freaking light that's gonna be in this shop. I don't wanna point it towards the camera all that much, but that's how bright that light is. That, it's freaking bright, like it is bright as all. Look, look it up, up against the wall. No wall? <laughs> wall. <laughs> It's gonna be amazing. Unplug it here, put it back in the box. Um, but yeah, Hyperlight, they basically sent me uh, six of them. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna put, I'm probably gonna hang two here, like one there, one there, and then two here, and then probably two more back here on these beams. Probably right from the beams, honestly, is probably where I'm gonna hang them. Um, I'm probably gonna hang them a little low as well. Probably maybe a little bit lower than these actual lights here, but it is definitely going to brighten up this back shop for future videos, especially in the wintertime when the doors are closed. Um, and I have to make videos inside without having the, you know, the sunlight, the natural sunlight and stuff and, and junk. But it's gonna be freaking awesome, guys. Freaking awesome to have these lights in here. And I'm hoping to put them in that part of the shop as well in the near future, um, which I think I will be able to. I'm gonna get, I wanna get rid of all these incandescent ball bullshit. Like, they're all junk. I just wanna get rid of them and put some good quality LED lights in the shop and they they are gonna do it guys so I just wanted to show you that real quick because I'm, I'm kind of excited about it but basically back to the story about Zach um, we're just not gonna have a lot of time obviously because I got put lights in too we're not gonna have a lot of time to continue working on the car because of graduation coming up so close and I'm gonna be I mean I'm gonna be gone for basically an entire week down to Paris Island South Carolina for him so I'm not even gonna be here I'm gonna make content don't worry guys I'm gonna make content of graduation I know you guys are gonna look forward to that I'm gonna make content of family day possibly and the family day ceremony and Paris Island and, and show you as much as I possibly can of the island and everything like that so don't worry there is gonna be videos of that coming and obviously since since Zach doesn't know about the car, there's gonna be a reveal video. We'll actually be able to have a reveal video of him seeing the car for the first time and, and being excited about the car, which is gonna be freaking amazing, guys. Freaking amazing. But the big thing is the engine and turbo. So somebody made a comment a little bit ago in one of the older uh, boot camp videos that we made about leaving something for Zach to do. And I figure what better than to leave the engine install which is sitting over there, that B18, fully forged B18, and the turbo install for when he comes back for his 10 days, you know, we'll take a, a day or two, maybe the second weekend that he's home, the last weekend that he's home, um, we'll take that time and we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, install the engine in a day, put the turbo system together. Because the more I thought about it, guys, you know, if I put the engine in, there's something wrong with the engine, we're screwed, he won't be able to enjoy the car for his 10 days home. And right now it's driving, it's running, it's doing its thing. And he can at least drive for, for the 10 days that he's home or seven days that he's home. Uh, before he goes out to California or Camp Geiger for MCT training and enjoy the car. If I put the engine in, even though I know it's a fully forged engine, I put the engine in and something goes haywire, the car is sitting now, even when he's here and he's not going to be able to enjoy it. And I, I put this together for him to enjoy, guys. Same with the turbo system. If I put the turbo system on, 
He's not going to be able to enjoy it because it's not going to be able to get tuned in enough of time for him to be able to, you know, actually enjoy the turbo system. So he'll be driving around and won't be able to go into boost and not have fun with it. With this, honestly, hell guys, he could take this and totally send this freaking engine to the moon. Pistons out the bottom. It ain't going to matter because we have another motor that me and him are going to install together. And that's what the next videos are going to be. Some of the future videos are going to be is, is me and Zach again together two U.S. Marines doing car stuff on camera on YouTube for you guys. And I kind of figured it would be a lot more enjoyable for you guys to see Zach and I install the engine together and have our little bickering moments and um, <laughs> do the turbo system together before he leaves. Because once he leaves, the car is just going to sit. I have plenty of time while he's in MCT training and schooling to finish up any odds and ends and um, you know get the car tuned properly. And plenty of time to do that over the winter when he's gone. And, you know, if he wants to, you know, say, for example, buy parts and have them shipped to the shop, I can make videos of him sending, you know, parts to install on the car if, if he wants different things on the car. And he says, hey, I'm going to I'm going to order this part off a line and send it to the shop and you go and install it while I'm away. I can do all that cool stuff, which is going to be freaking awesome. But I figured you guys would have a lot more enjoyment in watching Zach and I together putting this motor and, and turbo system in when he comes back, um, like the beginning of um October is when that'll happen, but uh, I figured you guys would just enjoy that more So yeah, that's it guys. Just a short video. It's not a long video I don't want to you know talk too much in this one just a little short one for you guys But there you go guys like he's doing great. He is a US Marine I want to thank everybody out there for your support and I want to thank everybody That's new to the channel that if these shirts are still available within the time period of October 10th 9th and 10th and you purchase one it's still going to a very, very good cause, and um, it's going to be freaking awesome, guys. But other than that, I just want to let you know he's doing good, and he's a, he's a U.S. Marine. I'm very proud of him. Very happy. Very, very happy. And he did cry at the Crucible. He did tell me he teared up at the Crucible when he got to the Iwo Jima Monument, and he got his Eagle Globe and Anchor. He did, he did tear up a little bit, So, uh, which we all do. All us Marines, we, we do that when we turn Marines. We, we shed a tear. It's a long process, you know. But uh, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Please give it a big thumbs up. Let YouTube know, let the YouTube algorithm know what is freaking going on here. Let them know that, you know, something awesome is happening. You know what I mean? And has happened. Let them know and get them views up guys. But uh, hit that notification bell, click it on all, hit the subscribe bell, please give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, and uh, check me out on Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing and stay tuned for the next actual good video not just talking video but a good video that comes out next but uh, other than that guys hope you all have a great day and deuces